What's going on guys? I am back again with another video. This is going to be a 4K and Blu-ray collection update. I've got a ton of stuff to show you guys today. We've got some a uh, ton of 4Ks. We've got some Criterion stuff, some Arrow stuff, some Screen Factory stuff, a bunch of catalog titles. Um, let's jump right into it. All right, first thing up is I picked up the 4K release of Citizen Kane. I am super excited to check this out. Add it to the Orson Welles collection. Um, there is an issue with the Blu-ray in this set, I believe, that needs to be replaced, but Criterion is replacing those. All right. Super excited to check that out. I also picked up the Criterion 4K release of Menace to Society. Great set. It's been a little while since I had watched this movie, but it looks fantastic. The uh, Hughes Brothers film, so good. Really enjoy it. After I watched this, it, the first thing it made me think of was Dead Presidents. Obviously, we don't have a Blu-ray of Dead Presidents yet, so I had to go back and pick up the DVD. So I'm looking forward to checking that out again. We need a Blu-ray release of that, so some boutique needs to pick it up so we can watch that. Speaking of boutiques, um, Arrow Video. I've got a few HD, or a few 4K releases of the Dario Argento movies. I had never seen any of those. I feel like it's one of those blank spots in my uh, film knowledge and uh, stuff that I've seen. So um, I did ask for them for Christmas. My wife picked up the 4K limited edition release of The Bird with the Crystal Plumage, Cat of Nine Tails in 4K as well. And then they, I believe they're calling these the Arte Original version um this is of deep red 4k as well um i did watch the bird with the crystal plumage it looked amazing in 4k great movie um after i watched that it did make me want to branch out a little bit more and this is obviously the one i if you hear dario argento you hear suspiria so i did pick up the synapse film release of suspiria in 4k um i did watch this i put in the special features disc um, it looks like they've got a ton of great like documentaries on there, uh, featurettes. But it started talking about um, some of his other films that I haven't seen yet. So I do want to go through all his stuff before I watch that. But there's a ton of features on here as well. Arrow and both Snaps are doing a great job with these releases. Um, I did also pick up the uh, Zatochi Criterion set. Got a ton of the Zatochi movies on there. You can see little focus great set this is one of those criterion sets that i i don't know just slipped through the cracks that i hadn't picked up definitely excited to pick that up and check it out all right let's jump into some of these 4k titles i did pick up the uh, brian de palma film uh, carlito's way looks fantastic fantastic movie um if you haven't seen it you know you pretty much can't go wrong with de palma at least uh the majority of the early career i guess uh great stuff i also upgraded up the uh, Hitchcock releases of Vertigo and Rear Window. I uh, love these slip slip cases. Look great. Can't wait to check those out. All right. Oh, also, I watched Last Night in Soho, the new Edgar Wright film. Um, watched it twice when it came out. Really enjoyed that. Um, it made me want to go back and upgrade the titles that I only had of his on Blu-ray. So I upgraded Shaun of the Dead to 4K. Hot Fuzz. I was disappointed that neither of those came with the uh, slipcover, but I guess I waited too long. Uh, but I did get the slipcover with The World's End. And Scott Pilgrim. I already do have Baby Driver in the collection, so I didn't need to, up in 4K, so I didn't need to upgrade that one. Also picked up Yesterday, uh, Beatles movie. Uh, really cool. If you haven't checked this out, you like Beatles music, definitely worth checking out. Um, basically premise says he wakes up one day and the Beatles really didn't exist. So he starts playing a Beatles song. No one knows what he's talking about. So he pretends, uh, they're his songs and tries to go on tour. And it's the story of that really cute, really worth checking out. Uh, next up is the, I will eventually one day stop buying this. I think I bought this 10 times in my life. Um, it is the 4k release of do the right thing. Um, I do have the Criterion release. I actually have two copies of it. One is signed by Spike Lee um, that I picked up from his website, which you should definitely check out and buy from his website if you're a big fan of this film. But I did pick up the 4K of this as well. Looking forward to checking that out. 
Um, I picked up the 4K release of Into the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It's one of those ones I didn't pick up for some reason the last couple years, but glad to have it now. All right, putting those in a long stack. I also picked up the 4K release of The Green Knight. Looking forward to checking that out. I watched the first 15 minutes, but then I got busy, so I need to check that one out again. also picked up Snatch on 4K. As well as uh, upgraded we have the dvd but i picked up the blu-ray of uh, lock stock and two smoking barrels uh next up is the scream factory release of david cronenberg's the dead zone starring christopher walken i feel like almost anything that scream factory releases like i just love the slip cases love the artwork the commissioned artwork love that they usually include the poster artwork as a reverse artwork looking forward to checking this out and to the cronenberg collection all right. Oh, next up is a release from Australia from Imprint Films. Um, I missed this the first go around. I believe it was a copy that came with like, the nice slip cover and everything. But I needed to pick this up. Um, it's a Paul Thomas Anderson movie, Hard Eight. Um, really, really good movie. I usually don't pick up releases outside of the U.S., which I have realized is a mistake. I usually just like to go with the U.S. titles, but like starting with that... Um, Dawn of the Dead set, the 4K Dawn of the Day, Dead set, which really doesn't matter because it's, uh, you know, 4K is region free most of the time. Um, I guess all of the time, as far as I've experienced, other than the Blu-ray that comes in there with all the special features. So I do need to upgrade and get a, a region free player. That's something I've been meaning to do for, I don't know, a decade. But anyway, this is region free. So if you're in the U.S., you want to add to your Paul Thomas Anderson collection, definitely pick this up. All right, I also picked up the Vestron video release of uh, Francis Ford Coppola's Dementia 13. Love their releases. Glad to see that they're continuing to put stuff out. All right, I did pick up the Warner Archive Collection Tex Avery Screwball Classics Volume 3. Um, I did pick up, I found it for a great price. Great price. The Francis Ford Coppola sets five film collection, Apocalypse Now and Apocalypse Now. Obviously, I have the 4K, so I don't really need those. But I wanted this for The Conversation, Tetro, and One from the Heart. Excited to check that out. Picked up uh, Sergio Leone as Once Upon a Time in the West. The Steelbook of... The original Christmas specials, Rudolph, um, Frosty the Snowman, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. It also has The Little Drummer Boy and Cricket of the Heart. Um, there's a really cool documentary. I haven't opened this version yet, but it's the Animagic World of Rankin and Bass. I believe it's like a 45-minute cut on most of their Christmas specials. All right. I've got a bunch of titles. We'll run through these quick Blu-ray releases it's a Problem Child on Blu-ray. Got Beethoven. Uh, Shout Select uh, release of Chuck Berry, Hail Hail Rock and Roll. Happy Gilmore. The Mummy. Mummy Returns. Picked up a bunch of random sequels too that I was missing, like uh, Blues, Blues Brothers 2000. All right, Billy Madison. Greenberg. Uh, Noah Baumbach film that I haven't seen all the way through, so I'm excited to check that out. The Darkest Hour. The Shadow. Spike Lee film that I needed to upgrade to Blu-ray. Inside Man. Role Models. Bulletproof. Another sequel, uh, Babe, Pig in the City. All right. I wanted... I love Scream Factory stuff. I try to pick up as much Scream Factory stuff as I can. I've been waiting to pick up these two movies, but the uh, slip covers are obviously out of print. They've been gone for a long time. Um, so I'm waiting to try to find those for a good deal. But in the meantime, I picked up these releases of Psycho 2, Psycho 3, and then obviously Psycho 4 at the beginning to go with those. All right. For the love of the game. Picked up this version of Army of Darkness just because I love the artwork, the color scheme. Didn't really need it, but love it. Um, Coen Brothers movie, Burn After Reading. And I believe that's everything. Oh, 
DVD of Still Breathing. My wife really loved this this movie. Does anyone remember this? Picked this up sealed on eBay, which was actually pretty expensive. It's up over a hundred bucks now. You can get it cheaper or used, but a lot of the copies look terrible on there. So I went ahead and picked that up. Um, guys, I've been working on a new video series for you guys. Um, it's called The Revolution Will Not Be Streamed. Um, it's going to be a physical media show where we just focus on talking about um, physical media, news, uh, new releases, um, breaking down a bunch of stuff. I'm super excited to start that show with you guys. I'm going to do the first couple episodes um, just as recorded episodes, but then I think I want to start doing it as a live stream. So if that's something that you guys are interested in um, watching and stuff, just let me know or any uh, ideas you have for that. So I'm super excited to bring that to you guys. Um, let me know what you guys picked up. Did you pick up anything good over Black Friday? Did you get anything good for Christmas? All right. Thanks a lot, guys. I will see you soon.